Hello, everybody. This is JTL Mally 9681 Welcome back to my ranting series. I went out and voted earlier this morning, and when I did, I did remember that I had received a mail-in ballot, a absentee or whatever, however they call that. Absentee or whatever. To where it is for the the Republican uh, primary, primary for Virginia. And of course it was approved. I received the application, or the application was received, sorry. Because I had thought about doing that, you know, doing it by mail, mail-in ballot. But then I found out that mail-in ballots, like they were during the 2016 uh, presidential elections and all, a lot, if not all, of the Republican was not counted, but the Democrats were. There were those who even did mail-in ballots for independent sides, libertarian sides, and those were not counted. Most of them were not counted, if not all. And that is illegal for the Democrats to be doing that. And the Democrats are behind that. It's been proven. And they're trying to do it again. So I received it on the 8th of May. But then I saw on there that it said that if I would still like to vote in person, mail the ballot back in blank. And that is what I did right here on the 15th. Mailed it back in blank. Well, I didn't mail back in that day. I mailed it back the, the same day as I got it so that it was received on the 15th of May. Well, when I went to Belmont Grant Belmont Branch Library, which is still Stonewall Jackson to me. They changed the name on quote-unquote racism terms, which the Democrats are the racist ones. So I still call it Stonewall Jackson. But I went there, and immediately when they seen that I had received an absentee mail-in ballot, they said, well, we can't allow you to vote here. Sorry. And then I told them uh, there was a paper with that from them saying that if I wanted to vote, still vote in person, mail the ballot back in blank, and that is what I did. Well, then they looked over at another woman who has the um, connections to find out certain information that they need. And if I didn't tell them about this and they didn't check in on it of what they really needed to do, or if they tried to have me not allowed to vote in person as a result, I would have been turning them in to the district because this is ridiculous. And here's my problem, my biggest problem. Every single person except for one who works on that team in that district for me to vote at are all Democrats. They are all for the Democratic Party except for one. And that person, all he does, he's in a wheelchair, all he does is give you a sticker, I voted. I didn't even receive that today because he wasn't there. He's the only one that will, that knows the truth about the Democratic Party. And that's why he won't vote Democrat. I won't either. So, especially since this is a Republican primary, it wouldn't have been surprising to me if they would try to keep me from voting at all. So what they had me do is write my address and all that, all that information on, the, on an envelope and mark the ballot as normal but then fold it in a certain way so it'll fit inside the envelope so that the envelope can be taken to where it needs to be taken to so the ballot can be counted. I kept calm, but I also kept the state of mind that everyone who's working in here, except for the one guy who's a neighbor of mine, was not there. But everyone else that was there were all strongly for the Democratic Party. So if they were to try to do anything, I definitely would have turned them in. And I would have told them that I would too. However, praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, that did not happen. So I give good praise to the Lord for that. So if anything would have gone any worse, I would have definitely turned that in. So I'm just letting everybody know, be careful. And watch and report if you have to. And I know that it really doesn't account to very much because this is all mainly man. But if God allowed 
me to be able to even vote this way instead of just through the straight putting the ballot in that machine and whatnot, that I wouldn't have been able to put my vote out because I would have been blocked for illegal reasons. But I kept calm and I did what I needed to do to persevere and not in an aggressive way or anything like that. And I made sure that things were done the way that, the way they should have been, as far as I am aware of, anyway. So, for everyone else, just be careful and watch what's going on. So with that, this is JTML9681 signing off. Follow me on social media, on either of my YouTube channels, and also on Dailymotion, BitChute, Facebook, Twitter, GameAnyone.com, and LinkedIn. Links will be in the video description. This is JTML9681 signing off. I'll see you all later. Bye.